hey guys what's up now in the previous video we saw how to download and install power bi now in this video i'm going to give you a very quick walkthrough of power, power bi desktop interface so that we could understand which part is referred with what name and when we progress further in the tutorial we don't get confused with that so here in the start menu i have my power bi desktop i'm just going to click on this and it will launch the power bi as soon as it launches that we're gonna see the different elements of the power bi interface now uh, as you can see i have my power bi desktop window open now over here if you see this is the pop-up which we get whenever we open the power bi desktop free version right and into this like you can see over here here it says what's new where he, you can go here and here you get all the information whatever the new upgrade has been done into the power bi then next come power bi blog if there they, there are bloggers who keep on writing about the power bi that you can go of course and check out the resources which are available over here uh, microsoft also provides a very good community of the microsoft power bi experts who you know where you can post your questions and they have a look on your questions right doubts suggestion etc and they try to support with your problems in case if you are suggesting something and if that's a common suggestion across the world and that's very obvious thing and and maybe we can say that if that is something which is in demand they also think of you know implementing that into the power bi so you can of course take advantage of this next comes is tutorial over here you can see some pre-recorded videos which which can turn out to be useful for your uh, development and learning right so for now currently what I'm going to do is I'll just close this and into this window this is the main window which you can see whenever uh, you start working in power bi right so like you can see you can divide this into the four part first part is ribbon area second this views third this lower segment where you can see the sheet name or dashboard name and fourth this pen area right at the right hand side so here primarily you can see there are three panes one is filter visualization and data filter sorry visualization pen is by default expanded now let me start with the ribbon area in the ribbon area first tab is home tab where you can see multiple options this particular segment is holding all those options from where you can import the data into power bi or maybe you can directly connect to the data which is available into the database so power bi offers a good range of data source connectivity which is, which is you know quite uh, which is much better than uh, other bi tools available when it comes to the comparison with uh, click Sense or maybe tableau etc it, uh, it 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 has it provides the flexibility to connect with the databases or import files approximately from 95 different different sources right so if you want to see all of the sources of course you can go in get data and click on more option and as soon as you do that you're gonna get a box into which you can see all the over here you can see all of the sources from where you can fetch the data or you can direct you can even connect to the pdf and you can do the query on that you can use facebook data as well linkedin data twitter data etc and if you want you can uh, the, these all sources are segmented like this also so you can click on any or any one of this specific and you see you can see from here okay now in the ribbon area you will get insert also where using which you can import or insert the items from different files or different sources in the modeling modeling is something which is majorly useful when you are more working on the model building when i say model building means uh, the snowflake schema star schema these all are these all are the things which you might have heard about the architectural model kind of stuff right then the you gonna get the options which can turn out to be useful then in view you're gonna get multiple options through which you can customize the view of the power bi for example if you want to object certain uh, if you want to lock certain object on a particular position then you can do this as we move forward into the uh, tutorial we will be using these things right if you want to see the uh, ch change the layout of the page that you can also do click on actual size and this is what you're gonna get right and over here you if you click on fit to page the what we we were seeing previously that's one here you can also see the 
view in mobile layout format when it comes to optimization over here you can uh, you you might you might get the uh, performance optimizer op options right and when it comes to help over here there are many options available uh, using which many resources available for example if you see over here you have training videos which you can refer for the learning purpose right power uh, for developer support is available over here power bay blog is available over here most importantly one of the thing which i really like is this sample data set right i can just go over here and load sample data set so by default power bi is providing some of the data sets which we can utilize in our dashboard report building or analysis or or, or, or many other things right so like you can see i just i'm just trying to load the data so it is fetching the data and in the data we have two tables or sheets rather you can say right so the, here you see this is the first one which says financials i'm just going to click on this so when you're clicking on this it makes sure that you get this check uh, checked highlighted right and as soon as you do this here you're gonna get option low transformation what is the different why do we do transform etc that's something which we will cover as you progress in the for now what i'm going to do is i'll load the data right so as soon as i click that now it has started to load the data in power bi from its original source right or maybe connect to, to its original source so let's just give it some time like you can see over here here you are getting a message so you can try to cut this and this will go away okay that 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 will just go away and let it just load the data now as soon as we have the data loaded this is what we're gonna see over here now at the right hand side previously it was blank now you can see the financial table is available and into that you can see all of the columns right so what happens is over here you see all the columns are available over here so now wherever you see this kind of icon which we usually refer as sigma in statistics right so you can consider that these all are the numeric fields where you can perform the mathematical operations right now the you see this calendar type icon this is nothing but the date variable or date column which also provides the hierarchical structure from year quarter month and day etc okay other than that if you are getting certain column which does not have either of these two icon you can consider those are the categorical or character columns okay now let's talk about these three icons which you see over here the first one is report view the current view which we are seeing over here this is the report view where where we usually create different kind of visualization charts graphs etc now this this is the data view where you can see your whole bunch of data whatever data that you have imported or connected to and you can also perform the eda work over here which is exploratory data analysis and um, you can perform um, data cleaning majorly over here and power bi is very much efficient uh, other than that you know the the the, the the best part of this power bi is whatever actions you perform over here it does the recording of that and next time when you have to do the similar thing you don't need to do that one by one you can simply play the recording and it will automatically do that that's that's the power feature of this power bi okay then uh the, then comes the model view right so in the model view you see those uh, all those tables which you are using in your reports or in power bi so for example if you have more than one table so you might be having joins uh some some star uh, star schema jo uh, structure or snowflake schema all those kind of stuff you will get to see over here all right so this is what the model view now i'll take you back to the report view in the report view you see three pans right one data which we just discussed the other one comes visualization where you get the option to create any kind of charts uh i mean you can uh, you get the option to choose a chart type from this list right so there are multiple charts which are given over here you can choose that and you can draw the create your visualization which we'll discuss further as we progress right then comes a filter pane where which provides you the flexibility to apply filter on a specific page or to the entire document right on, on on all of the pages other than that here you have sheets of course you can click this 
plus button and you can add the shades as many as you want and then if you want to delete either of them you can simply click on the cross button when you hover over here you're gonna get the cross button so this is it in this particular video folks right i just wanted to give you a overall idea about the power bi interface let's connect into the next video and see how can we start with visualization creation thank you very much for watching this wish you good luck